Janice is getting a BBL today. I'm not getting a BBL. That's right. Well, I mean, she did wake up this morning listening to Eye the Tiger. No, I didn't. Why you be lying to them? <laughs> What's going on, Ivan and Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a hua <laughs> For a chance to get a shout out in the next video. That's right, guys. So my, you know, my little hua <laughs> was a, a little low because right now it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Usually we're waking up at this time. Mm -hmm. We've been up since like 6. Yep. Janice has probably been up since 4. Yep. <laughs> uh, she's getting a secret surgery done today. So, like I said, that BBL is about to come in clutch. Got, what you mean that BBL is about to come in clutch? Janice, tell him that you got a bubble butt. I already have a bubble butt. What is the definition of a bubble butt? A bubble butt is like a butt that's just like... Do you know what I mean? Like, what, like perky? Yeah. Is that really what a bubble butt is? A bubble butt is like like a butt, like a butt that's like like a cup. Like, Cause I'm not gonna lie, I used to hear that term bubble butt when I was like in middle school, mm -hmm. and I'm like, what is a bubble butt? A bubble butt is just like a perfect like little scoop. I thought that was like a. No. Why are we talking about this? I don't this? know. I don't know. Tell them about your BBL. Then. <laughs> Guys, I'm not getting a BBL. I don't know why he keeps saying that. I'm like that surgery is so petrifying. Like shout out to the girls who actually get that shit done because. Hold oh my on. God. Let's, let's actually tell them that I don't want her to get a BBL done because some of you guys are gonna take that and run with it and be like, oh my God, he really wants her to get a BBL. He's stretching it like. No, I don't want her to get a BBL. Her guys, butt is like, butt is amazing. All right, all right, anyway. Today, I am going to be getting a surgical procedure done that I have been dreading for so long, but it's something that I really have to do. I know this time around, I'm in like kind of a better mood than like I always have been for the rest of my like surgical procedures because honestly, it's a very small and it's not anything too crazy. I am nervous because I'm getting put under obviously, but it is what it is because I just see it as like I'm checking things off the box of what I have to do. Should I tell them exactly what I'm getting done? See, this is what makes it seem like you're getting a BBL. It's like you're hiding it. Like, How just, am I hiding it? You can just tell them what it is. Like, I mean, I don't see what's the big deal. I really don't think it's a big procedure to begin with. I feel like this is something like really, really light, but it's still considered a surgery. So Yeah, but I mean, I'm getting put under, so it's like I'm kind of taking it seriously. I mean, for like um, 15, 10 to 15 minutes, you're going to be like knocked out. No, it's like to a half hour. Oh, now we're talking. Still, <laughs> guys, I am going to be getting an endoscopic procedure done. If you don't know what that is, it's basically when they put you to sleep and they put a camera down your throat so that they can look at your stomach. Um, I don't know. I've touched on this like sometimes. Who starts a fire at 8, 10 in the morning? Well, whoever it is, I hope everyone's okay. Like people just woke up. Um, I'll continue in one second when these sirens are gone. All right, before we were interrupted, I was saying that I'm pretty much uh, getting this procedure done because I have really bad stomach issues and everyone always gives me the runaround as to what exactly I have. I've been diagnosed with IBS without any, you know, medical diagnosis pretty much. They haven't done anything to check my stomach. They're just like, oh yeah, well you have all these symptoms. Yeah, you have IBS. They've given me pills for it, it hasn't worked. And lately, more than ever, I've been struggling with like stomach pains and extreme bloating. And um, honestly, I'm just over it. I don't know if it's like parasites or I have like gastritis. Parasites? Yeah, you can have parasites in your stomach. Like tapeworms and stuff? No, babe, like, what? Tapeworms? I'm dead serious, yo. Isn't a, par isn't a tapeworm a parasite? Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to get this procedure done and over with. I've been dreading it for a really long time. And hopefully I get some answers today. So yeah, let's just go on this journey and um, I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, everyone. So I'm here. I'm at the place. Bro, I forgot my aligners. Yeah, and I can't wear my aligners. I'm talking normal though. It feels great. Bro, my aligners. <laughs> Isaiah's like, I told him, I was like, yeah, babe, I, I don't think I can wear my aligners today. Like, this is gonna suck. And he's like, you can't? 
Well, like, they just put it on the camera down my throat. You think that I'm going to be able I to tell something you, bro, in my mouth? I told you I could have done it at home for you. We could have took our vlog camera. I could have shot it down your throat, took a look, and then <laughs> boom. Like, we don't have to come over here and pay someone else to do it. You know how I feel about paying other people to do stuff that we can do ourselves. You're crazy. Imagine that, though. Imagine you try to do that. What's wrong? We can put you on the island in our kitchen. Right you on the counter. You know what? Actually, I saw this thing Don't where... Don't tell me you saw someone do it at home because no. I swear I'm going to walk out. No, there's like a procedure and I think it was a Japanese doctor if I'm not mistaken. And they were trying to see like how ramen was digested. So they created a pill that you swallow that's a camera. And it's it stays in your system and like it'll show like how your bowel movements go throughout the week. Okay, now how am I supposed to get that camera out? There's only one way out. Exactly. You already know where it comes out of. You oh. even stop acting like you and don't know. And it's, it's supposed to be comfortable? You know the... It's like a small pill, like like this, like a regular pill. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. Like, man, I got to go through all of this. And I could have just went to that Japanese doctor. He could have given me a pill and told me what was wrong Bro, with me. you could have went to Dr. Rivera at home and we could have done it. I would have been done already. We By the, the whole drive here, I would have been done. You would have been sound asleep. Bro, I'm not playing with you right now. I'm not playing with you either. Dude, it doesn't even feel like I'm about to get, like, a procedure done. Bro, I don't even... It's not even a procedure, bro. Like, I, yes, it is. It takes, like, 15 minutes. Like, this is crazy. This is going to be the quickest thing ever. I'm about to tell him to do me while you're at it. Just knock me out, too, and shoot down the stomach and tell me what's going on. <laughs> Honestly, the only, the only reason why, like... I do get nervous is just because I don't know this doctor. I've never met this doctor. I've never seen him before. Like, to put your trust into somebody that you've never met is crazy. I went out to lunch with him the other day. He's a cool guy. Like, I'm literally, he's, I'm going to walk in. He's going to be like, hi, I'm doing your surgery. I'm going to be like, oh, hey. Like, even with my endo surgery, they had to call a general surgeon. I don't even know who that man was, but shout out to you. That was my cousin. <laughs> what? I cannot deal. Guys, I'm so hungry. All right, let's not talk about food right now because I'm hungry too. And My stomach about to grow. I feel it. The next clip you're going to see, she's going to be gone, all right? And then you guys are going to be hanging out with me for about like 10, 15 <laughs> minutes. So maybe we can talk about like cool stuff like, I don't know, like Roblox and like Minecraft or something. Yeah, we had like a whole heart-to-heart, -heart, deep-ass conversation on the way here too. Yeah, it was about friends and how they do, you know, dumb stuff and why it causes groups to break up and all that. But we're not going to get into it because I still got beef with some of y'all. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, the next clip y'all see, she's gone. She's on the table already. <sighs> yeah, first on the table. Don't be saying stuff like that. That, that just makes Janice, me up. Uh, that gives me the ache. Thanksgiving is coming around the corner. You about to get stuffed like a turkey. This is about to be crazy. That's not funny. It's not funny? No, it's not. Damn. Thought long about that joke. All right, well, this is the first time you guys are going to see me exiting without tears in my eyes. So, accomplishments. Word. I'm not sure if you guys can really hear us or not, but there is a lot going on right now. We just got called back to this waiting room, whatever you want to call it. She's about to change into a gown, and this is going to be crazy. Are you ready? No, but I'm ready to get it over with. That, that too. And I'm ready to eat, bro. I'm hungry. I'm starving. I want Jamaican food. You with the Jamaican food. I had to come get in the car, bro, because it is too cold. Why are hospitals always so cold? Can someone explain that to me in the comment section? Please tell me why hospitals are always so cold. I think I know why, but I could be wrong. <sighs> but yeah, guys, so um, they just took her into the operating room. I guess if that's what you want to call it, where they're going to, you know, do the camera thing or, you know, whatever it is that they're going to do. It's They said about like 10, 15 minutes. Um, I used to work in a hospital. I know that that's cap. It's probably going to be about a half hour, but I told them I was going to be waiting in the car. They said that's fine. Regardless if I was waiting in the car or in the lobby, they said they were going to call me and let me know when she's ready. So now I'm just going to wait for that phone call. Probably going to like take a little nap right here. And I'll update you guys as soon as I get an update. Hello? Hi, is this Isaiah? Yes. Hey, Isaiah. It's Natasha from the surgery center. How are you doing? I'm good. You? Good. Janice is just coming out of her procedures, just starting to wake up a little bit. She's not quite there yet, though, so it'll be a few more minutes. Do you want to come back or do you want to um, go to the car? Um, I'm actually in the car right now, so I'm actually going to walk are. to the okay. lobby. Okay, that's fine. We'll come get you. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. 
I knew she was going to be out of it. Every time she's off the anesthesia, guys, she just gets all loopy and stuff like that. She'd be saying some crazy things, some things that you can't say on camera. But yeah, I'm going to go head over to the lobby right now, pick her up, and then we'll get the camera rolling again when we're in the car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you look at who's back? They said, what, 10, 15 minutes? I told you guys I was capped. It took 35 minutes to be exact since they rolled you off and from when they called you. 35 minutes. This is why I don't believe the hospitals, y'all. Yo. You can't believe the no one. Can I tell y'all about my experience? Like, that was the longest it's ever taken to start a procedure once I'm in the surgery room. That shit was, like, I felt like I was waiting forever. Got you made it, y'all. Yo. You alive. Yeah. And you got tea. Big happy family. All right, Nene, how you feeling? I feel fine. I'm just hungry and like I have like pain like right here in the middle of my chest. Usually where I have like gastritis pain. So yeah, guys. Um, do you want to tell them what they found? Sure. All right, so go ahead. So they told me pretty much that I have gastritis. That they found polyps that they had to remove. Um, so they went ahead and did that and they sent it to a lab. So I should have my results in about two weeks to tell me, you know, more information about that. Do you want to show them the pictures? Or? I'm going to give them a quick uh, glance. I'm only going to give you guys a quick glance because um, I don't know if YouTube might take this down or not because, uh, you know, it's uh, pretty graphic. But, Blue, can you stop licking the paper? What the, what's that even taste like? Your mouth is probably mad dry now. You show them the pictures of like the gastritis and the polyps, that's all. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna, well there's nothing else to really see. All right guys, so that's what the gastritis looks like. It's basically just foam, acid, that's really all it is. There's nothing to it. And this is what the polyps look like. They're really like, I don't know, weird looking. But yeah, those all got cut out. Well, are they not weird looking? They look gross. Exactly. They look like nipples. Oh my God, all right, well that, they're gone. They're, they're not there anymore. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I'm gonna let her rest, probably get her some food or something like that. I got myself some food because your boy is starving. Anything else you wanna say? No, thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. I don't think they had a choice. Yeah, but with all that being said, guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up down below and we'll see you guys in the next video.